I, I don't mind telling you. This pick fires me up. I am jacked about this pick. John's going to tell you all about it, but let it be known. This is a yeah, no, I mean, exciting we're, pick. Yeah, we're, we're, we're super excited. Uh, we are able to move back. We feel really blessed we are able to move back with uh, with Green Bay and Phil Avoid in the sixth round, Phil Avoid in the third round. Uh, third round pick is number 76 overall. It's a, it's a, it's a really nice pick uh, in our opinion. Uh, we still have a gap tomorrow. But uh, just really excited about uh, Penny. Uh, great kid, two brothers, uh, played behind Pumphrey last year, split time with them, didn't complain about not getting carries, as many carries as he would have wanted. Uh, dynamic kickoff returner. He's returned seven career kickoffs and uh, uh, you know, he's had two punt returns, took one to the house. Just incredible spatial awareness and instincts and uh, yeah, we're just we're, we're really excited. So yeah, Speed, durability, humble. Probably the best part about this kid, this young man, he's humble. He's ready to work. He probably already told you guys. You probably are, have already heard from him. Um, whatever we want, he, he'll, he'll do. Uh, the special teams accent is such so unique. I mean, he's really something to be able to help Tyler take the uh, the burden off of Tyler at times. They'll compete, you know, for all of the return stuff, which is great. Um, he's coming in here to compete. He knows that, you know. He's done. He's just hand, he's handling the job. He's got to come in here and battle, which he's ready to do. Um, but he's such an exciting player, and he's so versatile and so dynamic. Uh, we know that every time he gets his hands on the ball, he can score a touchdown. And that's in the running game and the passing game because he's very gifted catching the football and running the routes as well. So uh, we know that the running game helps every aspect of our team. It helps our defense, it helps our special teams, and he will also be able to play in teams and be a factor. So uh, it's a really exciting pick, and uh, can't wait to get him here and get going and, and, uh, and start fitting him in. How concerning was it just one year of production, or was there a freshman component to it? Uh, he's had a couple of years of production. I mean, no. We had a thousand yards last year. He's a pretty good player. As a main guy, I mean, that not 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 a not a question at all. He had he had some really interesting uh, analytic stats about him with uh, you know durability and and uh, run after contact, run after first contact. He actually uh, of this group was number one in both categories. Hasn't been overworked if that's you know part of it. You know, but he still can carry the load. His running game, too, was very similar to things that we do. He's run some of the exact same plays. So we've seen him run behind the fullback. We've seen him run downhill and the perimeter stuff. Um, just everything just fit. It's just a beautiful pick. And there was another great runner in this draft. There's some, it's a fantastic draft for running backs. Johnny's been you know, showing us that all throughout. Um, but I don't know anybody other than Sar <coughs> um, um, Barkley, yeah, Saquon Barkley that was he's an extraordinary player. And we haven't seen a guy like that in years. And this guy's right there in the ability to make the explosive plays and the big stuff happen. So it's really exciting. I think our fans will be pumped about this thing. Can't wait to see him in the kicking game, but from the line of scrimmage as well. He's going to really be a great threat. And we'll see how we fit him together. Help Chris. We'll, uh, we'll help Russell. Uh, you know, it'll help all our guys, and, and, and uh, we'll fit it all together. You, you guys have both mentioned the durability. Was that maybe a bigger deal given how things have gone in your backfield for the past few seasons? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really, it was. Uh, Important element of his makeup and his background was great. What, what is it about Penny that made him stand out over those other backs you talked about that are all pretty good? Too, together? It, it's a it's a really good group. It really was. Uh, you know, it was very uh, very hard to, to uh, work through the process with these guys. Uh, there's going to be some really good backs coming tomorrow as well. Uh, but I think just the fact that you know the guys um, you know doesn't have quite as much wear and tear. Uh, can score from anywhere on the field. Great hands. Three down. Uh, you know, people were a little bit concerned about level of competition, but he went down to the Senior Bowl and absolutely ripped up the whole week down there. Uh, just yeah, and and you know, those guys were um, <coughs> they're competing their tails off down at the Senior Bowl, and he stepped right in there and and you know acted like it wasn't that big a deal. I think when you get to know him, he's <coughs> like this really easygoing, humble. Uh, you know, kind of just really good, good person. He was raised real well, and, uh, and then he gets on the field and he's got this swagger about him, and you know, it's like he has, you know, several pupils. This guy's got amazing eyes. He, um, he also yeah. he's got a, a three down back, uh, you know, for us. You know, he can do everything. So he needs to work on his pass protection, which he was not asked to do a lot of. 
but um, he will give us the ability to play him on all downs, and, and uh, that versatility is really uh, is really special too. When, sorry. Sure. When you guys met him, was there anything about his presence or his early demeanor that really stuck out with you when you first had the initial contact with him off the field, obviously? Yeah, I mean, he's just a real, he's just a, uh, he's a real down to earth, real grounded kid. Like I, like I said, he never, he was never real outspoken about not getting as many touches behind. Uh, pump, you know, playing behind Pumphrey last year as he would have liked, but when he got his touches, it was like, you know, when you're studying Pumphrey last year, it was like, holy smokes, who is this guy? You know, because he was just ripping off long runs as well. So, uh, you know, his his like his demeanor is like this quiet, um, just he's just kind of got that sparkle in his eye and like really wants it. He you talked a couple times about getting the run game going, and obviously there's a lot of factors. Yeah, this is this is really uh, the the dish and the element that we were hoping to, to factor into this season along with because we like our running backs. We've got a good young room of guys that are all going to be competing, but this just gives us one more one more chance to really make it an explosive aspect. Uh, he'll help help us in the run game by being able to run the ball inside and outside. He's been a downhill runner, but he's also been able to uh, to bounce the ball on the perimeter and take you know, great advantage of that. Whether he's cutting back or going front side, he's he's got a special way about him. So. He has big playability, you know, so that that just makes such a uh, difference when you're defending us. And uh, so I, I think he can. We'll figure out how it complements with the other fellows, but um, th he's going to bring something really explosive. That's going to be a great, a great dynamic for our football team. You, you mentioned the, the system at <coughs> San Diego State. It's plug and play, pretty simplistic, but is he kind of and the wing tee in yeah. high yeah. school? Is he along the lines though of, of that kind of guy who will make the transition? Yeah, there's, there, there, we have no question about that. We really, and, and the fact that he went to the Senior Bowl and did all this stuff there too, he learns really well. It makes sense to him. But he has re truly run uh, a, a lot of stuff that we, that we want to run with him, and, and so that's great in the evaluation. He's also been a gun, shotgun runner at times too. We've seen the moves and the cuts he needs to show us that stuff, which we like to do because it's a, a big way to include Russell's uh, factor. Um, no limitations. There's just no limitations. We he, can do whatever he knows we want his to. game too. I mean, yeah. he, he, he's a kid that knows his. <laughs> who he is, what his game is. He knows he has a lot of work to do in pass protection, and uh, he's been adamant about that. And knows that like he's got to you know get the work on that. In 27, you guys had a number of choices you could have made with good players. How did it come down to this running back at that spot? Well, we would have taken him in 18, mm -hmm. so that's why we feel super blessed. I mean, we, you know, we when whenever you move back, people are always like, "I oh, just move back." I mean, it's a pretty hard thing to do, you know, like. You have to find a partner. Um, we had several people walk away from us, and we felt, you know, like I said, we felt real blessed that Green Bay hung in there with us, and and uh, and and really a, a true rarity is that we had a team call us after we selected him to try to, you know, acquire him, which is I've never experienced that. So um, yeah, we feel we feel very uh, we feel very blessed tonight. Yeah, baby. Just to clarify your last statement. So you had a team. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, which, which team? It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 You did a really good job of picking that up, by the way. Kids, you, got it. You, you, you both What's have up? made mention uh, to the character and, and humility attributes. Is that something that this year you guys have kind of reprioritized um, uh, in any way in terms of, of really focusing on those I think this time of year we're always trying to stay close to the, the core of who we are. There's never been a year I've ever coached in football where that wasn't one of the most important elements of, of the players and the team that you have. Um, so the opportunity to, to find a guy who has him, his world kind of squared away um, and and knows kind of who he is and all that, I think it just it just gives us one more chance to be that much closer to exactly the way we'd like to be. And, and uh, so I don't think any more than any other time. I know what you're getting at. Uh, I think it's just we I mentioned it in the, one of the interviews we did earlier that we wanted to return to make sure we're at the core of who we are and what we want to be. And the running game is a lot about you guys all know that. And uh, this is really a connection in many ways that really fits the bill for us. It seems like the, uh, the way people use the importance of running backs has sort of evolved over the years. Like it's taken really high. And there's a period where you've seen them slide to third and fourth round, and, and now they're you know popping up in the first round again. Do, do you agree that it's evolved? And why do you think that? It, it just fluctuates on every year, really. Uh, there's there's certain trends that happen all the time. 
this year's group was was unique because there's 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 really good runners all the way through. So it's like these guys are you know there's some pretty talented <coughs> runners, but you know where do you start taking them? Because you know you could get some guys later. So I'm sure there's a number of teams that you know probably had these guys rated fairly highly, but we're like you know what we should go in direction A and then come back to B a little bit later on because we can still get a runner. With Schottenheimer's offense and Solari's blocking scheme, did that kind of narrow your focus at all in terms of what running backs you guys like? Um, I don't know if it narrowed our focus. That's, oh, that's the right way to say it. But um, it's certainly, um, you know, we're all, all on board in what we're trying to get done here. And, and Shotty has a, has a great background. He's done a lot of things, and he has the ability to structure stuff that's going to fit our style of guys. And uh, it just so happens that how we would like to go, the shot fits right into it. But uh, I, I don't think it's anything special about that. I, but I do think that uh, it is going to be a nice fit. And he's really excited about having a three-down guy. You know, it's some of the best guys in the, in the league are guys that can play on first down, second down, third down, and you don't know where, you know, you're not tipping your hand because you're bringing in only a third down guy and, and have a first and second down guy. So um, fortunately, uh, Chris is in that same mold. He can, he can play all three downs too. And uh, we know that we're, when we saw CJ healthy, he could also. And so... Um, it gives us a really good competitive room. I, you know, I, I'm really I'm tickled about this, and, and just think it's going to be exciting for everybody, our coaches, our fans, and, and our players in the locker room to, to see how we can mix this together and really make it a great, you know, a great aspect of our team. John, how important was it just to get something tomorrow and get something second and third round? Yeah. How important was it? Yeah. Extremely important. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you asked me about that the other day, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't <laughs> accidental the way you asked it, right? It was direct, right? Um, no, it was very important. John, do you, do you view it as a priority to get something? You get it, right? Okay. John, do you, do you find it a priority to, to find a way to get a pick between 32 and, or 33 and 76 tomorrow? Always. I mean, Always. We're, con we're constantly working at it. I mean, we we had a number of things going on right, right down here at the end. Um, and we have awesome, awesome staff in there. Everybody has the responsibilities. They have their teams. And we've been doing it together for several years. So people are, you know, we can literally be like bang, 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 and, you know, go from this team to that team to that team. And um, the room is very well organized um, in terms of what our, you know, set. we have several different boards. I'm, I'm very visual, so you, know, you can see what's going on over here and then what's going on in different, you know, with different teams over here. So. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> the, the video of him when you guys called him is already kind of going viral because of his reaction. Could you could you sense that through the phone at all, you guys? Or um, it sounded pretty emotional. I don't. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the video. It sound emotional. Yeah, I haven't seen the video. I don't know what that what it is. Yeah. They have some fun. Were they? Was he, the family all there and all? Kind of overcome and there's like 50 people screaming. Uh, great. Yeah. He he he's earned that. He deserves that. What, what, was, the, what was the <coughs> set, set up with the? Sorry, at 27, could you guys did I you guess think about going back? Go now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's your turn because you're the tallest guy in the room. <laughs> we are going by height, aren't we? I guess so. <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> Sorry, take take whatever way you want. Um, how, what, what's the chance of you guys really going back? That, did you? <laughs> no. So we're which way? John, you get to go wherever you want. You want to go over here or over here? Or you get to do whatever you want. Right. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> if I could finish it. <laughs> the uh, uh, choice to go further back in, in the first round or into the second round, how close was that Was that decision? Well, we couldn't go into the second round because well, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I, my friend over here said we couldn't anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> we decided not to, oh. just based on that solely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean... I go to the bathroom too. Um, <laughs> That's way too much information. But uh, no, no. I mean, it's it's it's. We definitely like. We definitely think about that stuff all the time. Like you, it, it's it's like you're, you're you're moving through this thing constantly. Tony knows about this. Like you're you're trying to figure out like where. Yeah, there's round one, two, today. There's just rounds, and they don't. Honestly, they're they're just it's they're numbers all the way through. It's not. You don't really think about like we have to select this person in this round, and this round gets, you know, this is the entertainment tonight, man. They had the red carpet out there for crying out loud. Like, this is all entertainment tonight. So, um, 
it's important for us all the time to be thinking about if we're going to go back and then move up, trying to acquire as many people because you're studying your board. Our board likes to get big math. I'll say this. It, it was really active right around that pick. We, we had all kinds of stuff going on. We're not going to tell you what it was or who it was or any of that, but John was, he, like he said, his guys were working. And there were some options and choices, and we, we did you know we did what we needed to do. But that's kind of, when your pick comes up, that's what it is. There's phone calls and phones ringing and cards going and choices and all that. And John has done a fantastic job over the years. It's, like he said, his guys are so grooved at it. They're so tight and connected that they could handle it all. We, we exhausted every opportunity, which there were numerous opportunities, and, and you know, did what we did. Uh, and are really fired up about all of it, not just the player that we got, but that we did fill those spots, and then we're cranked up and ready to go for tomorrow. We're going to do everything we can tomorrow, too. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Right. We'll do everything we can tomorrow and compete at every single turn. It's just it's just the way with that we have, you know, structured our. That's a great out. question. I mean, when you have those gaps, it's hard. You know, when you, you know, we had the one, and then we didn't have those two. You know, those second and the third. It's it's hard. Pete, yeah. you made some pretty substantial changes in the coaching staff. Is there anything notable about how the coaching staff interacts with the scouting department in this process? Uh, it's it's really, I'm mean, glad to address it. When we started, you know, we made the decision that we were not going to be the football guys and the personnel guys, that we were going to blend and make sure that there was dynamics within all of our guys so that we could best benefit from the strengths of everyone by having a connection and a, and a rapport and a relationship that, that our guys to just totally blend together. That's to maximize what everybody offers. And so um, that's what we've done from the start of this. You know, I don't know how other people do it, but that's, and it's, it was a beautiful illustration throughout the last closing this week out too, in the last few days. And there was rooms all over the building where guys were doing special projects and it was coaches and personnel guys with the lights off and everybody working to try and figure stuff out. That, that's just been the mentality in our entire organization, but it, was, it, it isn't really illustrated any more clearly than it is in this, this regard. Everybody's in on it. And John, we respect everyone, we care for everybody's opinions, and then we figure it out and away we go, you know. And so, yeah, the, yeah the, the, whole, the analytics and the sports science guys that are involved even more than ever, all of that works together. And, and uh, it's a real simple thought. We're competing, and the only way to compete is to use everybody's strengths, and then we got to figure it out when the time comes, and that's how we do it. And it's a really, it's a beautiful synergy, and, and it's, it's just, I think it's done really well and consistently, and it's what's given us a chance to continue to, to be successful. So it's a, it's a cool thing. It's fun as hell. We had a blast tonight. It was really cool. John, you mentioned it. No, it's not. No, it's not. But you have to be really careful. You know, you have to be very careful. How confident were you you could trade back when you're in the draft? Uh, I wasn't. I was talking to Coach Holmgren about it this afternoon. And he had stopped in to, you know, wish us good luck and everything. And, you know, I was talking to him about, like, whatever well, he yeah. thinks you're going to move back. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's so one. easy. And, no, no. And so you don't it's, not, it's not the... You know, it's not, you know, you have to have people that, you know, the board has to start falling a certain way, and then you have to have people um, that, you know, want to give up, you know, uh, that want to come with us. You know, where, where Green Bay came from was a, a long way, uh, from 27 to 18. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, we weren't confident. No, <laughs> we had to, you don't know. You don't know until it happens until the, the card is you know, placed and called in and all that. We don't, you don't know until Yeah, we were ready to pick at 18. If that, yeah, we were we we had had ready, we we ready, ready to go. Did you have offers for 27? Yes. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on there. Pete, you've talked about, in the past, about John's ability to kind of read the draft board as it might go, the value mm -hmm. and all that. When you're moving back, how important is that? No, I mean, okay, we can go back. Oh, and it's, really, it's that experience, that savvy is everything. We, without John's, you know, ability to kind of sense how it's going to go and read the, the tea leaves and all that, you know, we couldn't do that kind of stuff. You know, he's got to have a feel for it. And, and I totally trust in his, his expertise in that regard. And, we, you know, we're looking at, come on, you know, is this right or is it not? Yeah, you know? God helps you. Yeah. He can't help himself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, much for that. Is that it? <laughs> anyway, so it's, you know, it's really, it's, it's um, we're lucky that we're, you know, we got him. That was a compliment to you, John. Thank know. you, Carrie. That no, was very nice. On that note, thank you. Really thank you. Thank you. Oh, see, what's up? Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> so what?